Good morning, Calvary. It is great to see you. I want to start off today with you offering another word of encouragement. So uh, Philippians chapter 4 is where we're at. I'm just going to be looking at two verses, verses 8 and 9. But before I dive into the scripture, um, what do you think? I mean, really, what are you thinking? How's your mind today? How's your mindset? How's your attitude? Uh, because as, uh, as we've all walked this road of this coronavirus pandemic, uh, it's really easy to get stuck in a, in a negative place, in a critical place, in a fearful place, in an anxious place with uh, this virus. I mean, if you watch the news all the time, it's easy to, to get bad news and your fear builds and, and you just get in that place. Uh, or maybe you, you read stuff and you listen to people who are angry and protesting because they don't think this is worth it. And, and there's all kinds of stuff going on and people are like, yeah, let us out of our houses and they're angry and you're like angry with them. Um, see, whatever you're thinking affects your life. Uh, your worldview affects your life. Your, your attitude affects your life and your relationships and your job and all of that. Um, you know, if you're angry, it spills over into your kids. If you're anxious, it spills over into your family. Uh, if you're faithful and hopeful, then that has an impact on the people around you as well. And, and so today I want to talk about your mind and how you're thinking and what you're thinking. Listen to the counsel that the Apostle Paul gives uh, because he talks about how we can have peace of mind uh, in this. So he says in verse 8, uh, Philippians 4, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. The Apostle Paul says, look, if you want peace in your life, if you want to have that positive attitude, then you need to think about the things of God. Think about the things that are true and honorable and pure and right and lovely and of good report and, and are excellent and worthy of praise. It'll change your life if you think about these things. It'll impact your family. It'll impact your relationships. It'll impact your, your spouse, your kids, your work. All of it will be impacted by your attitude if you can have that attitude of Christ. If you'll, and you'll experience that peace of God which passes all understanding if you will focus your mind on God. Now, how do we do that? Because a lot of you are saying, yeah, I want that, but, you know, it's tough. Well, one of the things you need to do is what the Apostle Paul said, which is take your mind off the things of the world, the worries of the world, the fear of the world, the anger of the world, and you need to put them on Jesus. So uh, how do you do that? Well, first of all, read the Bible. You know, we give Bibles away here at Calvary because we want you to have the Word of God and read the Word of God because we really believe it'll change your life if you do that. And so I want you to read the Bible. I want you to read the Bible and write down questions. I want you to ask those questions in your life groups. I want you to ask those questions of your pastors. You can email us anytime. We love those kind of uh, questions. You can set up appointments and we'll make a, you know, right now a video call, but we love face-to-face -to, -face to answer questions because we, we're teachers and we want people to learn and the way you learn is by asking questions. If you really want to get serious, memorize scripture. Memorize scripture. I know a lot of you have protests right now. I can't memorize. Yeah, write it down, put it all over your house, uh, repeat it every day. Memorize scripture because as you memorize the word of God, you're giving God a voice into your life 24-7 wherever you are. So read the Bible because the Bible is truth. And if you want to counter the lies of this world, which by the way, you know, Satan is your enemy and he's the father of lies according to Jesus. And so he's always lying to you. He's always trying to deceive you. The only way you're going to know the lies of Satan is if you know the truth of God's Word. And so I'm just going to encourage you to read it so you can counter the lies. In fact, I remember reading this one time that uh, the Treasury Department uh, officials that, you know, try to find the counterfeits, they don't study the fakes. You know what they study? They study the actual bills, the correct ones, and they learn them so well that they can spot a fake instantly. And that's us. We need to know the Word of God so well the truth of Jesus so well that when we hear the lies of Satan, we automatically know that's not right, that's not true. So uh, read the Bible. That, that's my, my first counsel. If you really want to win this battle for your mind, if you want to have the right attitude, read Scripture. And then uh, listen to worship music. You know, uh, music affects us. And what you listen to kind of affects your attitude. I noticed that angry people tend to listen to angry music. 
you know, people who are celebrating, they want celebratory music. People who are, who are honestly, who are depressed, they tend to listen to really sad music. Um, here's the thing, if you want to let God influence your, your mind, your attitude, then, then praise Him. Because when you're celebrating God and praising God and, and singing in, in that way, worshiping in that way, it's going to be hard for you to complain, it's going to be hard for you to criticize, it's going to be hard for you to be negative and, and fearful, because that'll wipe it out. Another thing you can do is tap into uh, resources like Right Now Media. If you're a part of Calvary, uh, then you have access to Right Now Media. And if you don't have access to that, then you can email the church office. They'll give you a link and we'll get you uh, attached. And Right Now Media is a, is a resource where of hundreds, maybe even thousands of titles of Bible studies that you can listen to, of sermons you can listen to, of marriage uh, enrichment you can listen to, of parenting you can listen to, and just kinds of great godly entertainment for your kids. It's a resource for you for free. Why? Because we want to help you fill your mind with those things that are excellent and pure and lovely and of good report. So uh, that's how I'm going to encourage you. And, and now I'm going to close by saying this. I know this isn't difficult. What I've shared with you is not, you know, mind-blowing, if you will. But it is mind-changing. And, and here's the reality. It, this isn't difficult to do, but you have to do it on purpose or it won't happen. And so I want you to have the mind of Jesus. I want you to think about those things that will give you the peace of God that passes all understanding. But the choice is yours. So today I pray that you choose to uh, think about the things that are true and honorable and right and pure and of good report and lovely and excellent and worthy of praise because it'll make a difference in how you live your life. God bless. And I pray that God changes your mind.